So a retina detachment, if you think of your eye like a small camera, and just like all camera, you've got your lens at the front, you've got a film at the back. So the retina is like the film of the camera, and it's normally stuck onto the back of the eyeball like wallpaper. So retina detachment happens when the retina literally falls off the wall of the eyeball, like wallpaper falling off. So when retina detaches, the retina falls off from the wall of the eyeball at the back of your eye. Broadly speaking, there are two different types. One is acute and one is less acute, more chronic. The acute type is when you have a tear, a torn bit in the retina. And if you have a torn bit in the retina, the water within the eye can get underneath it. That the rest of the retina very quickly progresses and falls off and you lose sight completely. That's called acute retinal detachment. And the other type, you have a small hole in the periphery of your retina and it very much slowly progresses and detaches from the peripheral vision and is less noticeable. But in the acute type, there's also two different main categories. The one is when it only affects your peripheral vision and when your central vision is still preserved, it's called macular only detachment. And that is an absolute emergency. You really try to repair your retina uh, before it reaches your center. It's called macular only detachment. And by in contrast, if the detachment unfortunately progresses to affect your central vision, and we call it macular off detachment. And the reason we try to repair your retina as soon as possible when it's still at the macular on stage before it affects your peripheral retina is because once your central vision is affected, even if we put it back, the quality of central vision will never be as good as it was. So broadly speaking, the acute retinal detachment has two types, macular on and macular off. Macular on is absolute emergency. And then the slightly slower type called Runkel detachment um, happens a lot more uh, slowly and a bit much more insidious. So going back to our analogy that your eyes like a small camera, you've got your lens in front, or film in the back. Then the bulk of the eyeball it's got this solid jelly called vitreous. When we're born, when we're young, it's nice and solid. When we get older, the jelly naturally liquefies and breaks or become floaters. And most of the time that happens without causing any problem, just to give you some annoying floaters. But unfortunately, in a small number of people, instead of making a clean break, the jelly can pull a little bit of retina with it when it's separate and literally rip it, causing a retinal tear. And as I explained earlier, once you've got a torn bit of retina, what get underneath, underneath through the break, and then went behind it, and that's why the whole retina starts to peel off. So that's the cause of retinal detachment. So the most common things patient experience initially will be flashing lights. So flashing light literally is the sensation of the jelly pulling on the retina. And then if you torn a bit of the retina, particularly if you take a little bit of blood vessel with it, then you have a tiny bleed. And that's in this tiny, lots of tiny, tiny dots. And then as retina starts to lift from the periphery, you start to see a solid shadow from the proof of your vision. So the main warning signs are flashing lights, showers of new floaters, and a shadow from any periphery corner of your field of vision. Yes, the acute type of retinal detachment definitely happens suddenly. So a patient can be literally walking down the street, watching TV, and all of a sudden start seeing flashing lights, showers and new floaters. And therefore I always tell patients, if you have any of those symptoms, don't wait, don't sit on air, just go to your nearest eye casualty, optician or A&E to have it checked. 